Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot. This is a tarot reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to the channel, welcome to you. I'm glad you're here. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. You could watch other parts of your chart and that would give you a more complete energetic profile. Or you could even look around on the Monday readings because the format or style of reading is different from week to week. I do a love reading, a pick a card, mid-month, monthly, I do four months at a time, all kinds of stuff happening. Thank you to all of you too for supporting the channel by just watching the readings, hitting that like button, and of course subscribing. It's fun. We'll keep doing it, shall we? And if you like tarot and you like this channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot, and then you'll know when anything is posted here. All right, what advice do you have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please? What messages do you have for Libra? Okay, whoops, card came out, so we're going to let it. All right, cards are ready. And we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. We'll talk about this in a minute. You've got the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Hanged Man, the Emperor, the Two of Wands. Beautiful reading. Oh, God, and the Fool. This is incredible. Now, for some reason, the phrase, really get your hands dirty, came in. I don't know if you're doing something, you're into pottery or you're painting. And I even got like painting walls or it, it, this, the other thing that came in was working like in a lab. Like there's something very hands on for someone here, but you also had the sun come out as a clarifier. And this is an energy that is of synergy. It's powerful. It's re it re this revolutionizes your life, and that's where this is leading you to. When you have things like this showing up, the energy of the sun with the carefree and resistant free energy of the fool, ready to move forward, and then the courage, the strength, and the power of the emperor. This is a really unstoppable combination of energy. Truly is going to be uh, a reading here that I'm looking forward to doing. So with the sun too, it's all about high vibrational stuff. You also have the sun and the fool. It, within the fool card, there's very few cards that have the sun in them. So I like to take note of that. I do feel like for some of you, if you have kids or family here, there's sort of this feeling of rejoicing, of celebrating, being together. Or if you're dating somebody that has kids, there's an indication here that that will go well too, okay? If that's what those kids are here for. But either way, with the sun, it's total acceptance. It's being very unconditional about things. And in terms of work here too, if you have something new showing up, because I do see a new opportunity here, it really checks all the boxes and it's fun. And like I said before, there's a synergy. There's a great harmony between you and the people that you're around. Um, so with the Page of Pentacles, this is a new opportunity. It can be money. It can be in love as well. But I do feel like whatever it is that comes in, it's something you covet. There's something about this that it feels important, like you've wanted it for a long time. And here it is. And it may be, and to some extent, there may be like an unexpected element to it, almost like you didn't realize that that was what you were looking for. So again, if it's a relationship too, it may be like you weren't really looking for one and there it is. But with the Page of Pentacles, it's also this hunger in terms of learning new things, doing new things, um, you know, being not just a student, but also like your own sort of researcher and trying things though. There's nothing here resistant in terms of trying new things. So if there's, um, I get physical activities too, like some new gym or class or something you've never really thought about doing, you do it and it's like it gets you hooked. It's that kind of energy. So whatever new stuff you do, you're going to get, be very intrigued by it. There's no boredom in this reading, I'll tell you that. So the Queen of Swords, I guess before we get into this too far, you do have Aries, Leo here. Um, here you are in your own energy. You've got air, you've got fire, earth, and water too. So all the elements represented. 
It's knowing what you want. It's clarity. It's also using your own intellectual capacity. So if there's something new in terms of creating a business, if it's something online or something where you can work from home even, it does feel like you'll know exactly the right steps to do with the Queen of Swords. It's it's This is an energy too where you can introduce new ideas and especially with like the Hanged Man and the Emperor and the Fool. Um, and those ideas change how other people see things. It's you've got a powerful uh, way about you that can impact others in this energy. It's um, too an energy of, if, of kind of having a dry sense of humor, kind of looking at things a little bit sarcastically, and that's okay too. Now, again, in a relationship, I definitely see things moving forward here. And whoever this is, they're wildly creative. Um, they've got this great, robust, creative energy with the hanged man and the fool. And I see somebody doing like stand-up comedy. And maybe that's, maybe it's just, they're just representing that this person's very funny. But they've got the confidence too where they would be able to do that. So with the Ten of Cups, is wish fulfillment. So what have you been asking for, Libra? Because here it is. And it's that rainbow after a storm with the last year and a half you know, the things that we've been through, here you go. It's like you've come out on the other side and here's your purpose showing up. So it's it's feeling like you're in flow in every area. There's prosperity, abundance for you and you move forward. You've got a vision here and as you see it in your mind, you can create it in your reality. It really is just about accessing that infinite field of potential, which I know it's like, well, it's hard when you're trying to figure out where the hell it is, right? It's like fumbling around in the dark for your glasses. It's like, well, I get it that it's out there, but where is it? So <laughs> keep going, okay? Because you're right on the precipice if it's if it's not happening yet. But with the Six of Wands, again, it's an energy of being noticed and your ideas being well-received and leading the charge. You have that multiple times, especially anything that you're doing to lead. It's You have a wonderful facility as a leader here. And so it feels success. It's like the, you know, he's got the wreath of victory around his crown and also on that wand. It, it feels like the success is coming all at once. You know, the relationship, the job, it's all here and it's available to you. But you do definitely move forward. I mean, there's nothing negative in this reading. So if there's been some negative things, you're moving into an energy of letting go and releasing it. Both with the Fool and the Hanged Man, this is like surrender to win. It's a really important energy in the deck. It's It can be changing your mind about something. So for some of you, if it was a relationship, there's a change here, but it's very positive. And like I said, I feel like the person's very creative they may be a little unconventional in how they do things. I get that too, sort of this avant-garde, unconventional energy. And with the emperor here, even though that's Aries energy, that may indicate you balancing the person out a little bit, especially if you say that's not that's not me, but there's something about the two of you that it works well, again, with the synergy. Now, if that is you, maybe that's I'm reading you and they're the emperor. That could possibly be too. But the hanged man is surrender to win you with this energy you see things in the eyes of source you know the illuminated um circle around his head it's like the perspective of source energy and you can't get bitter and angry when you're in that alignment okay it would be completely impossible because the soul doesn't hate another soul or you know sit in in a sad state the soul is always victorious which is part of why the fool is here so the emperor is the architect of the universe. It's commanding a presence. But again, in the background, you'll see that little stream. That's a pool of consciousness that begins in the hierophant, or excuse me, high priestess robe. And so it's still connected to source energy, but it's definitely an energy of thriving. It's also an energy of wealth. And with the 10 of cups here, I hope I didn't call that 10 of pentacles. If I did, I apologize, but it's the 10 of cups. Either way, it can be a subjective card, so there's money here too. So any ventures you're doing, great. This is very shrewd in terms of business with that Queen of Swords. So anything you're doing with your career, it moves forward. And you have real, you garner a lot of respect in this energy. Nobody would second guess the Emperor. It's like what the Emperor says goes. And it's a card of structure, authority, yes. Um, but there's a, um, oh, what's the word about this? 
I, I keep getting mechanism, but that's not right. I, I don't know why I'm saying that, but it just, that word keeps showing up. But that's not quite what I'm thinking of. But anyway, with this, it's definitely moving forward. So the two of wands is this visionary. And so with the two of wands, it is a card of success, but wanting more, it's that, you know, expansion. You can see it in your mind and you get into that vibrational frequency that the sun allows you to. And there you go. It comes easily. It comes naturally. It's like there's an easiness about this reading. I mean, it's especially with the fool. The fool is a transition for you. And like I said, there's an easiness here. It can be a little extravagant. And, um, you know, at times the fool is impulsive, yes, but there's no fear. There's no resistance here. And so the fool carries this white rose to indicate honesty and truth. And also the little white dog is a symbol of the same, but it's also a symbol of loyalty, okay? So as you go forward, you'll have good people around you as well. And it may be a brand new beginning in terms of work and love for somebody, or, or it could be either or, but it's definitely a new beginning. And it's that place where you jump in fully. You're, you're all in. There's no resistance. And there's a, a duality in the reading. So I do feel like it's reciprocated. It's not a one-sided um, jumping in, jumping off place, right? You know, and and nobody else goes with you. <laughs> that would be sad. This is a, it really is a beautiful reading. So let's see what the angels have said here for Libra. And a uh, time line. All right, so you have here. The situation will improve. So if you're in a difficult place right now and listening to this going, well, yeah, it sounds great. It's just not me. Hey, they're trying to encourage you. The recovery. Now, for some of you with the Queen of Swords, there could have been surgery there. It could have been a medical thing. Sometimes it's associated with law or medicine, but either way, it may be a mind, body, spirit recovery. We never want to leave out the spiritual aspects. They say be assertive and with the Emperor, boy, the Emperor, the Six of Wands, and even the Fool, there's definitely no holding back. You've got a year from now, but don't let that make you, you know, upset. It is, at times I think of it as, in a year from now, you'll look back and you will be amazed. You'll say, I can't believe that's where I was standing a year ago. They give you a yes. So good things are on the way for you, Libra. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.